Ready? No, yeah, no set format here. Just going to kind of open it up for questions. You can yeah, I, I just want to say, you know, we're incredibly excited about being able to uh, get Dabo a uh, new contract, eight years, have him here. Uh, what he's done with our program has been incredible. Um, uh, he means so much to our athletic department, to our university, to our community. He and Kathleen are uh, just incredible ambassadors for the institution. Uh, we uh, are also very excited about the, the great football program that he has pulled together. And uh, we're just uh, we're happy that uh, we were able to come to an agreement um, prior to the football season. That was always our goal. Uh, and uh, we've been able to accomplish that and, and look forward to uh, another great eight years. Did you go into it in, in, in mind of what other coaches were making and, and, and saying, we want to make that little tough, you know, three, four, five guy? Well, I, I think when you look at the, at the market, um, the market's now defined because Dabo's won a national championship here at Clemson. The market is defined by those four individuals who are currently active coaches that have uh, national championship victories. Uh, it, it, it further includes uh, Coach Harbaugh at Michigan because he was a, had a Super Bowl appearance. He's, he's been at a, a very, very high level. So that's kind of the market and really the parameters that we used uh, in doing our market assessment and, and ultimately created the terms based on that. With with no Mike Brown, I know Dabo's been kind of handling this himself with his, his buddy from Alabama. Was that a little bit strange that uh, there wasn't like a true agent in, involved and Dabo had kind of handled a lot of it himself? Actually, there there was an agent, and that oh, okay. was that was probably why the you know we're sitting here today in August as opposed to sometime previously because you know with the untimely passing of Mike Brown, who we all miss terribly, uh, just just an incredible person. Uh, Dabo took a little time and, and talked about how he wanted to pull together his, uh, his team. Um, and, and that was done in, in May. Uh, so there were, there were representatives of, of his interest, and we were able to work with them and our university general counsel. So it was a very different uh, type of uh, discussion than maybe the previous contracts have been. But it ended up in a great place. Why was it so important to or why did you guys want to go ahead and get it over with before the season started? Well, we thought that that was appropriate. Um, and, you know, I think that we started this process in June. Uh, I think it was, I don't look at it as being elongated, but, you know, in the summertime, things happen. You know, people go away for a couple of days, you know, and you have our, certainly our board of trustee meeting in the middle of July. So between vacations, timing, it, it kind of elongated a little bit from that perspective. But if you condense the times that we were all serious, sitting down, talking, it wasn't that long of a negotiation, to be real honest. Will there be any uh, change in compensation to the assistant coaches? That was taken care of in February. So that, that stays all the same? Yes. Everybody good? Yeah.